Hey y'all. We're going to New Orleans. Did I say that right? <laughs> There's your blooper reel. <laughs> oh, when the thing go marching in. Oh, when the thing go marching in. Oh, I'm going to ring. I'm going to ring. Hey, y'all. We're going to New Orleans. And I'm going to take y'all with me. We're going to meet Scott and Debbie from Reverend with a Room. And Jesse and Lisa from Lazy Days Ahead with Jesse and Lisa. So, and when I say we, I mean us. Hi. How y'all doing? This is Terry. I have people. coffee. It's a good day. Meet Terry. Terry. Meet people. The park here. You're a Mississippi. Proudly honors the American icon with a one of a kind outdoor public art exhibit in downtown Carousel Abound. Radiant's most popular attractions the historic Ginsell Carousel. Nice. It says, Do not climb on the horse, so I can't get a picture on it. <laughs> We're in Louisiana, y'all. Yee-hoo! <laughs> We're in Swamp, Swampville now. Coffee? Uh, born and raised in New Orleans. Uh, graduated from Nichols High School. Uh, New Orleans is a friendly city. Excellent food that only competes with New York City's food. Uh, the people are sweet. They're nice. You're accepted as you are, and you can have a good time, and uh, <laughs> anytime. <laughs> anytime. So just uh, be careful when you go down there, and have a good time. Okay. Is there a specific place that you like the most in New Orleans? I like the French Quarter. Yeah. I like the French Quarter. I I, I like Bourbon Street. Uh, you just gotta be careful. Uh, go to Frenchman Street if you want to hear some good music. Okay. Bourbon Street is the experience. Um, but the, the city has got its own character. And it's, like I tell people, it's not a southern city in the United States. It's a northern city of the Caribbean. The culture, architecture, and cuisine are Caribbean. And so that's, that's what you've got to love about it. It's awesome. Never meet a, fr uh, a stranger down there. So. What's your name? John. John, I'm Danielle. We like the way you talk. Well, thank you. I like the way y'all talk. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I want to get a video of that. Sorry, folks. I like my architecture. Don't be sorry. 
Well, I mean, this is kind of what New Orleans is known for, most style houses and the balconies out over the street and whatnot. You know. Maybe not that building so much, but these others, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna film just in case. Uh, this is gonna be the evidence. When when they find us afterwards, they'll know what to do. Just gonna let that out. People. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude on a bicycle, yeah. Okay. There is a stitch. There is a smell that has made its way into the car from the outside. Makes it very clear certain things are going on. There's the heart. <coughs> mango, mango. I can't look at establishments right now. I'm just no. Establishers. Smart. There's the Acme Oyster. Sweet. This is why we're parking the car. <laughs> Did and, you uh, just find a parking space? No, is there that actually is, a parking garage. The valet will take it to the garage, is my understanding from what I saw on the hotel's website. See if I can find anybody interested down here. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody interested? Hi! She's representing us. I've got no on camera. <laughs> okay, I'll stop. We have none other than look at the shirt she's wearing. Wow. Hey. Danny Day's Danny Day's ahead, so we can see her right here. Oh, he's so handsome. I just wanted to show you the... Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's... Scenery. Beautiful. Look at that crocodile up there. Crocodile. I like the old timey feel. Here. We get an exclusive? We get an exclusive. Look at this. This is for our YouTube page. Oh, wonderful. Look at all this burden. Oh, the smell in here. It's too bad you guys can't smell this. Yeah, you can't. It smells great. Oh, man. Every bourbon you can think about. Oh, wow. Huh? Look at that. Bullet rye. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd say uh, somebody's been working in here. Uh, I'd say somebody's been working in here. I what know, you, yeah. Think? Look. <laughs> Every time I have to somebody's been I got on the job duty there. I'm <laughs> saying. Look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen. Cream, it wasn't us. Nice. <laughs> if by chance get a picture of the Blantons, it'll make a lot of people jealous. Which is the Blantons? Right over there. All alphabetized. See up there in the dark? Here's the bullet. Right here. See it? It'll have the top. Oh, over in the corner. Here you go. And he, and he, here's Crown Royal. Here you go. Here's your blends right there. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. I like the one with the butterfly on it. I wonder what that tastes like. That's, that's Blue Run, wow. Kentucky Straight. Yes, these have the, the commemorative tops. You see, them? those haven't been opened yet. That's nice. Wow. That is a lot of bourbon. That's a lot of bourbon. Myself, and Danny, and uh, Terry, and 
Alright, so where were we? Our cathedral just slowed down in a hurry. Was it 1722 or 1727? Either way, it doesn't matter. It all it ended up in rubble after both of those hurricanes. So we had to rebuild with Mississippi River Brick. And you know, three little pigs. Uh, but Mississippi River Brick is soft. And we found out on Good Friday of 1788. It's also very flammable. Well, I don't know if they do What are you saying about a square? 80%. Guys, if I could have somebody please stay in our seat on the one of my guys would be to Okay, sorry. You mean we can't hop on and off from the top? It's a bit of a drop. I think we're worried about that. So. A fire breaks out behind our cathedral in 1788. It destroys 80% of our city and our cathedral in five hours. So we rebuilt, because we're nothing if not resilient down here. And in uh, 1780, uh, 1794, excuse me, uh, we watched as 20% of our city burned down in a fire. Uh, that one only damaged Holy our crap. cathedral, so we rebuilt. And then, uh, you know, unfortunately got hit by a hurricane in 1850, so we rebuilt. And that was the last time anything major happened to our cathedral, so go us. Uh, if you want to take a Catholic Mass inside of it, you're going to want to wait until tomorrow. It starts at noon. Coming up right ahead of us is a statue of our patron saint, Miss Joan of Arc. Now, Joan of Arc, the statue, was given to us by our cousins over in France. Uh, of course, we share the patron saint of Orleans, and so it makes sense that we would get one of her statues. Joan of Arc is the first parade to roll every carnival season. Uh, not only is she a patron saint, but she has great things, and also her birthday. <laughs> Stop number two for the French market. I've got hands raised for number two. the Louisiana State Museum, and you guys have probably interacted with state museums before, and you know that they've got all the pieces and deep pockets. That's not a surprise that they've got a piano from Sidney Mache or a trumpet from Buddy Golden, and of course they've got the original coronet that the Armstrong purchased, which was just 12 years old. Nice. We're going to be coming up to stop number three momentarily. Stop number three, put you one block away from Frenchman Street, where you can hear a little bit jazz, dynamo blues, or punk music. No matter where you go on Frenchman, you're going to have good music. And if it's not good music, it's definitely going to be good food at places like Adolfo's, uh, 13 Monahan, and Jazz Dog. The Haitian refugees uh, were coming from the revolution that started in the early 90s, and uh, they brought with them a very charming style of house. Now, some of my friends who are over in the Garden District with me have already met this style of house, but for those of you who were not, just ahead of us, there are a couple narrow houses. Now, this orange one is what we call a double shotgun. The white one is a shotgun camelback, and the other white-ish one was a double shotgun. Now, the difference between a double shotgun, a camelback, and a shotgun house, and a shotgun camelback is usually a single shotgun, um, but once you get to the back, they've got a staircase that takes you upstairs. There you'll have another bathroom and another bedroom. Hi. Those are the kinds of uh, shotguns you want to get if you like privacy. If you don't, uh, well, then a regular shotgun is perfect because your bathroom or your kitchen is always at the back of the house that you'll see all throughout this neighborhood. Now on the other side of the city, the murals are curated by the city itself, which means that you're going to see a lot about our history. But over here, the murals were created by the residents of this neighborhood, which means not only are you seeing our culture, but you're also seeing our creativity. <laughs> Now, back in 1929, uh, a set of brothers, uh, Benny and Clovis Martin, started a deli. Now, they had just left their job on the streetcar track, and they enjoyed a really good first year open. Uh, but then they saw, towards the end of 1929, uh, a strike happening on the streetcar track that they had just left. Uh, it was, of course, striking over the same thing that we are striking over today, better working conditions, better pay, same old story. Uh, but in that strike, uh, the two brothers, they saw a lot of their friends and family going without uh, money and without meals. So they offered these gentlemen a free lunch every day. It consisted of a French bread filled with a small layer of French fries, roast beef debris gravy, mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, and pickles. 
And it said that uh, any time one of these strikers would come into the uh, restaurant, one brother would say to another, here comes another poor boy. Over time, it turned into Po' Boy. But this is such a recent uh, event that there are still people alive today who will argue with you until they are blue in the face that it's called a poor Boy, not a Po' Boy. But either way, it's delicious. Um, in my opinion, uh, some of the best Po' Boys in our city come from oh, yeah. borders or gas stations. Yeah, they're the everywhere. Back. And the reason for this is they are not cooking for tourists. Like they're cooking the for locals. Hmm. And we're going to be coming up to stop number four in a moment. Stop number four for the top of the French Quarter, Lower Tremaine neighborhood. And Mr. Tyrone, I believe I've got some friends who are coming down. Yes, I do have some friends who are going to be joining you in just a moment. The Tremaine neighborhood over on our right-hand side was opened up in 1811, and the majority of people who purchased land over here were free people of color. And over time, this became the oldest African-American community in the United States. It is home to some really wonderful museums, like the African-American Art and History Museum, the Backstreet Cultural Center, and the House of Dancing Feathers. Both of those are going to teach you about Mardi Gras Indians. Thank you. Uh, yeah. yeah. I get it now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> jazz museum, which takes you a little bit further into the history of jazz than our uh, New Orleans Jazz Museum will do. Uh, there is a cursory overview, and they uh, they focus a lot on the artifacts, whereas like the Tea Jazz Museum focuses a little bit more on the history. So you're going to learn how. Uh, jazz didn't start in our red light district, as so many people say it was. It actually started about a block ahead of us on the right in an area that we called Congo Square. It was just a uh, African drumming blending with European, I'm sorry, with native tribal. In the mid 19th century, that's when European classical music got added to it. Once it got to our Storyville district, then it got the name jazz. But jazz was not spelled J A Z Z, it was spelled J A S S because they got the name from the perfume worn by all the lewd and abandoned ladies. It was Jasmine scented perfume. Wow. Or so the story goes. You guys know how history is. Once you get about 50 years away from something, everything is a gray area. <laughs> now, Congo Square, this little area that's on our right-hand side, is part of Armstrong Park. Armstrong Park, of course, is named for Neil Armstrong. I'm sorry, not Neil Armstrong. Look at me. Louis Armstrong, Jesus Christ. So, uh, so Louis Armstrong, uh, he and I share a very similar philosophy when it comes to music. Music is good for your soul, and you shouldn't put a price on it. So when we dedicated the park to Louis Armstrong, we said that we were never going to charge an admission fee to any music festival in there. So yeah, when we have a music festival, whether it's Congo Square Rhythm or a Zydeco Fest, you're going to walk in there for free. But remember, this is a capitalistic country. So yes, you walk in it for free, and then you pay more money than you ever thought you would for the smallest portion of macaroni and cheese you've ever had. <laughs> It's been eight years, I'm still better over it. <laughs> so, I don't know about you guys, I did not come down to New Orleans looking for mediocrity, especially not mediocre baked macaroni, which I will never understand how you, how you get mediocre baked macaroni in the Deep South, but you know, that's just me. So, in I'm with you on that. We're going to be coming up to a cemetery. That cemetery is oh, on our right hand yeah. side. It'll be on our left shortly uh, because we're going to go around this building here. It's called Basin Street Station. It's a visitor center. They've got clean bathrooms. Okay, and you know this close to the French Quarter, not everybody can claim to have clean bathrooms. Word. They've got a gift shop where you can buy a <laughs> snack or a book about Marie Laveau or an earring set that features a palmetto bug. And if you don't know what a palmetto bug is, picture a cockroach, make it uh, almost two inches long and let it fly around. Who's getting a new earring set? It's a hard pass, Phil. Uh, St. Louis number one, by the way, if you want to take a tour through it, you are going to have to have a tour guide, but you can grab a tour guide here at Basin Street Station. They'll tell you all about our voodoo queen, Marie Laveau, the last true creole of New Orleans, Bernard de Maroney, Homer Plessy uh, from the Supreme Court case, Plessy versus Ferguson, and eventually American actor Nicolas Cage, which, you know, he's not dead yet, so that's, that's the end of me talking about him. 
Also, this is the new ferry terminal. They are setting that up this week. They've been working on it for a couple of years. I'm excited to try it out. View Orleans. So this museum is... All I can say is every time I've done that, mine has exploded. You're not in the room. You know, it's kind of fun in its own way, but... Not the real pole. And I'm even a really good canoeist, but... That's one of the uh, most treacherous turns on the entire river. Also, this part of the river is... Really? 250 feet deep. We get tankers in from all over the world, and they have to be able to fit through there. Now, the city... Hi. Sanctuary, and most of it is like 50 feet. These are super dumb. Back to the building on the right is two lanes to cool medicine. Yeah. And of course, this house, so to speak, on the left. This Caesar Superdome, it's only been Caesar for not even a year and a half yet. It was the Mercedes Benz Superdome for a decade. And you know what? You stand right in front of it and it's just as light as That's right. As the shell oil. <laughs> it's really dull. 51 stories. Now the Hancock Whitney Bank. Tallest building in Louisiana. I'm gonna need you to sing that song again. Oh, no, not without music. Oh. Exactly. You need well, I'll wait. <laughs> Hard to believe. I just made it up. <laughs> it sounded good. Great trip. I got it already. Five stars. I've been up for three hours already. No. Three hours and forty-five minutes. No. Does anybody know who this is? Come from. This is the birthday boy next weekend. <laughs> Who are you? Who's that guy? It's literally, I think the tournament's right here. I have no idea what's going on right now. I know it wasn't very far down the road. Yeah. Well, it was at least off two. So the one was the way up there. We didn't know this. Y'all. I want to 
want to hear the song. You got a beat now. Oh, when the thing go marching in. Oh, when the thing go marching in. Oh, I'm going to ring. I'm going to ring. I'm going to ring the bell to go marching in. Pronounced brooms. <laughs> brooms. Brooms. I don't like. He told me that. I don't know why I keep saying it wrong. Brooms. <laughs> oh, I got the top of him. He's having a heyday. We make. We've eaten good food. The energy levels are up until we crash. This is a market, and it goes on and on. I mean, you can still hear the music. It's like everywhere you go in this place, you can hear music. We found Alita. I need a hat. Oh, they got more over here? More hat. Where did a cherry go? Found a cherry. Marketing it up. I wanted to show you guys how far this goes down. Look how it just keeps going and going. The trick is finding a bathroom. <laughs> First off, let's check out this awesome purse I got from the French market. Yeah. I hate to think I wouldn't, and it's across the body. It's just like humongous. And secondly, look at this humongous museum we're in. The National World War II Museum. This is going to be fun. Who really gets to experience anything like this? I have never. It's going to be fun, but both um, educational and a tidbit emotional, probably. But I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good time.
going up there, man. Be a lot cooler if we did. <laughs> for you guys. Yeah, it's too dark. <laughs> Look at Jesse and Lisa down there. They look really tiny. You're doing great, babe. <laughs> yep, sorry, you guys are going to have to get the view from right here because I am not going over this bridge. <laughs> That's as far as I go. Look at the little ants down there. You have to come up to the fourth floor to see this up close. So. That's the best I can do for you guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. This piece is called Me, Knife, Diamond, and Flower.
Very interesting. By James Thurl. Pretty cool. Well, this is a pretty building. Let's see what this is. What's a museum? It's pretty. What does this say? This eight inch Columbia cast of Alabama iron by the Confederates at Selma, Alabama was mounted in Spanish Fort Mobile Bay. The fifth company Locum Battery Battalion, Washington Artillery of New Orleans during the siege of that fort by the U.S. forces under General E.R. Canby alone served the peace until it was disabled on the 10th day of the siege, April 4, 1865, by the concentrated fire of more than 25 opposing guns. Thirteen of the company fell dead or wounded around it. Found 26 years after in the redoubt where used. It was obtained by the survivors of the company who, along with their comrades of the other companies of the battalion, Washington Artillery, here dedicate on this 19th day of September 1899 as a monument to the dashing and beloved Cuthbert Harrison. Slocum, captain of the 5th Company, and to the gallant spirits he led who are with him in the life beyond. Nice. Big like iron. Yeah. That's historical there. Well, it's the Civil War Museum. Yeah, that makes sense. So this is called Coliseum Square Park. It's pretty. Mm. Wonder how many people get hot enough to get jump in this in the summer. Got a few, I'd imagine. Pretty dogs running and. Pretty trees. Old oh, water ticket. Pretty area. What do we got here? La Fon Fountain. Restoration 2016-2018. I guess it's giving credit to everybody who yeah. worked on it. Cool. Yeah. Funky looking trees. Like they're grown all the way down to the ground.